so miles and miles and miles away from here. Um, it's a snake that is, I think, one of the most exciting in the whole world. When I mean, they're quite young, when they're um, smaller than this one here, they actually spend a lot of time up in the trees. They're flying an enormous amount of time, but as they start to get bigger and much heavier bodies, they actually switch. And all of a sudden, they'll spend almost all of their lives in the water. There's a good reason for that. It is a massive, massive snake, and it needs to support as much of its body weight as it can in water. And at the moment, it's using me like a bit of a tree to kind of wrap as much of its body as it can around me to support itself, including its uh, head going between my legs somewhere. But so that is very so There you are. Um, and also, um, very often, she'll so actually wrap her coils right around close to my neck. That's not because she's trying to constrict me, but merely because I have arteries uh, taking blood to my brain here, and this is one of the warmest parts of the human body. And as a so called cold blooded animal, one of her first instincts is to try and get warmth from me. And the very name cold blooded actually couldn't be further from the truth. I mean, actually, reptiles can have a blood that is much, much warmer than our own if they're in a hot environment. Actually, what happens is they track the ambient temperature. So they can gain heat from the sun, they can gain, uh, they can get cooler by going into the shade, um, but like I said, they can have blood that's much hotter than our own, depending on the temperature. Um, yeah. Something else that's relevant with temperature with this snake is that it has a special heat-sensitive pits in the upper lip running along the length of the upper lip. And you guys in the front row, you might just be able to see what look like slots on the upper lip. Those are thermal sensors. So even in total darkness, even without using that wonderful sensitive tongue, this snake can still hone in in the warmth of the moving muscles of its prey using those incredible heat sensitive pits. Very, very different from the heat sensitive pits that you get in pit vipers. They have what's called a lateral pit, which is a single hole. It looks almost like another nostril. On this one, it's a whole row of slits running down the length of the uh, the lip. Absolutely awesome. Uh, well, can you?